Jack, your first experience at a Origin win. How did it feel? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, I thought we were quite unlucky. I wasn't in the team game one, and I thought it was unlucky for the boys to lose there. And uh, you know, it was just good to get the win tonight. And um, you know, if they got the win in game one, you know, we'd be walking away with the trophy. But unfortunately, um, unfortunately not. And uh, you know, I think it's a good stepping stone for next year. And um, you know, a real positive sign. It was nice to send your captain and, and your teammate at the Sharks off um, off with a with a win and, and that conversion there at the end. Yeah, um, it is good to send Gao off as a winner, and um, no, I'm real happy for Gauza. You know, he's he's been through it all, and um, you know, he's a great leader and he's a better bloke. And um, you know, I think the goal kick, I think he needs to practice a little bit on that because it looked pretty ugly, but it went over. So, um, all seriousness, but um, you know, I'm, I'm real happy for Gauza and what he's achieved. You know him obviously as a leader at club level better than you do at origin level, but what's the difference between him at, at club level and origin level? What sort of leader is he? I carries it, uh, you know, he's pretty much the same. He carries it from, you know, New South Wales to the club footy as well. He just leads it with pride and, you know, you know what he's like. He's, he's, a, he's a good player and um, you can obviously tell how he leads the club out and um, he stayed. And, um, you know, I think when you come into New South Wales, um, you know, he's obviously, I think he hates Queensland, so he probably takes it a bit a bigger step to um, to leading us out and trying to get the victory. And um, you know, back at club footy is the same. But um, yeah, uh, he's a really good leader, and like I said before, um, I'm real happy for him. Obviously, this was his last um, Origin match, and and seeing all these young guys come through, having guys like yourself that you know people are tipping to be Origin stars of the future. What were Gal's words of advice for you guys before going into this match tonight? And has he said anything to sort of instil that pride in the young guys, knowing that he's not going to be there next year? Uh, yeah, he had to talk to us before. He said, um, you know, it's his last game, obviously, and um, you know, whatever we do tonight, if we come away with a win, um, us young boys here, it's pretty much we're going to stamp our spot for next year, and you know, it's a real, like I said, it's a real stepping stone for next year, and a real positive sign, and you know, we've got some young young blokes like myself coming through, and um, you know, it's just uh, new blood coming through, and um, to get the win tonight, it's a real positive, and you know. Um, yeah, like I said, just uh, real, real, um, lost my words. <laughs> it's right. Just a real positive for next year. Yeah, and it must be good as well to have like fellow t um, Sharks teammates in there too. It's not such an unfamiliar surrounding for you. Yeah, it's, um, it is good to have, to have the boys around, but obviously when you come into teams like this and you come into a new environment and meet the new blokes, but once you get to know them, they're, they're your teammates um, from the get-go. and. You know, they welcome me as a family. Um, you know, we're all brothers here, we're all one, and you know, it's no different to you know the Sharks team back home. It's um, we're one team, and uh, we all work together, and it obviously works. And I think it showed tonight. What do you think this experience is going to do for you going back to club footy? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm at a young age, obviously, and to play Origin at such a young young age, I think it's a um, it's a good sign for me to take back to the club as a leader and. You know, um, be a bit more professional, and you know, you learn a lot in in these camps from the older boys, and um, you know, you try and take that back to your club and uh, teach what you can back there. And um, you know, there's a few young blokes back at Cronulla, and just teach them a few new things. But um, just for myself, just probably, um, you know, obviously, like I said, the professionalism, uh, you got to get that right. And um, you know, to be around the older heads here it really helps me. And to know you're going back to a, a side that's, you know, leading the ladder at the moment and, you know, you're going to be in the final series, um, hoping to make it there to the grand final. Pretty exciting times ahead for you as such a young player. Yeah, it is very exciting, obviously, for myself and for the club. Um, you know, they haven't won a, won a comp in uh, the 47 years or whatever, however long they've been in the competition for. And, you know, 13 straight, it's, it's a real good... Um, you know, it's a real good accomplishment, but uh, I guess you know we can't take it for granted. We've got to um, keep working hard and you know just keep turning up every week. And um, like you said, hopefully we can uh, make the grand final and win one finally. And um, you know, I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. And um, you know, we just got to keep working hard and turning up week by week. And obviously, a longer-term goal is to cement your spot in the Blues squad. Yeah, 100%. Um, like well, I said before, I think. The win tonight, um, if, if all goes well uh, in the next year with no injuries, hopefully I'm here again and um, you know, hopefully we can beat the Queenslanders in the series. Enjoy the celebrations tonight. Thank you. Thank you.